In this section, our goal is to be able to find products and quotients of polynomials by applying the laws of exponents. Multiplying polynomials. We've done this before where we distribute to multiply the polynomials. But today, we're going to be working with some larger exponents. So it's important to remember the laws of exponents. Let's first begin by distributing the monomial into this trinomial. So we'll take 2x squared y, multiply to 5x. So 2x squared y times 5x. Then to the next monomial, minus 2x squared y times 7x cubed y squared. And finally, plus 2x squared y times 4. Remember, the 2 gets multiplied to the 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Then we see the same base of x. This is x squared. This is x to the first. And we add the exponents. 2 plus 1 makes 3. So that makes x cubed. We only have the y in the 1 place, so just y minus, and now 2 times 7, 14. And then looking at the x's, x squared times x cubed, 2 plus 3 makes 5, so x to the fifth. And this time we do have y times y squared. This is like y to the first. So that's like 1 plus 2 to get 3 y cubed. And finally, plus 2 times 4 makes 8. And then we have x squared and no other x's to multiply. And the y with no other y's to multiply. So there's our final answer, 10x cubed y minus 14x to the fifth y cubed plus 8x squared y. Now for example two, we're going to do something similar to multiply these polynomials. But this is a binomial times a trinomial, so we've got two terms to distribute. Let's begin by distributing the 3m to the three terms in the trinomial. So first, 3m times 7m squared, like this, 3m times 7m squared. And then 3m times 5mn. We're adding that term, 3m times 5mn. And then the next term added again, 3m times 3n squared. Then we'll need to distribute the negative 6n to the three terms in the trinomial. So negative 6n times 7m squared. So minus 6n times 7m squared. And then negative 6n times positive 5mn. So minus 6n times 5mn. And then negative 6n times positive 3n squared, so negative 6n times 3n squared. And now we can do some simplifying. So 3 times 7 makes 21. m times m squared, this is a little 1 exponent, and 1 plus 2 makes 3, so m cubed. Plus 3 times 5 is 15, m times m is m squared times n, 
plus 3 times 3 is 9 m times n squared. Now let's multiply the others. Negative 6 times 7, negative 42 n m squared. Usually when we have more than one variable, we'll write them in alphabetical order. So the m will come before the n. So m squared n. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30, so minus 30. m before n. n times n makes n squared. And then negative 6 times 3 makes negative 18. n to the first times n squared. 1 plus 2 makes 3, so n cubed. Now we see if there's any simplifying to do. Do we have any like terms? And I do. m squared n, I have one of those terms here also m squared n. So these two terms are like each other. I have other like terms as well. m n squared is here, positive 9 of those, and negative 30 m n squared. So let's go ahead and simplify a bit more. This will equal 21 m cubed. There's no other m cubes. I have the 15 m n squared and the negative 42 m, sorry, m squared m n and another m squared n, which makes negative 27 m squared n. And then the m n squared terms that are like each other, positive 9 and negative 30 makes negative 21 m n squared terms. And then finally, the last term, the n cubed term, is not like any other term. So there's my final answer, completely simplified. Now let's talk about dividing polynomials by monomials. We will divide each monomial in the numerator by the monomial in the denominator. What does that mean? Let's take a look. Number 3 says 4a to the 5th plus 20a to the 7th divided by 4a to the 5th. So we'll take this monomial, 4a to the 5th, and we'll divide it into both terms of the numerator. So it will look like this, 4a to the 5th divided by 4a to the 5th plus 20 a to the seventh divided by four a to the fifth. So how do we simplify this? Well, four a to the fifth divided by four a to the fifth is one. So that first term makes one. Plus 20 can divide by four. Four goes into itself once and into 25 times. And then we remember our laws of exponents. Remember when we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. See the bigger one is in the numerator. So we st subtract starting with the numerator, seven minus five makes two, and the result will be in the numerator. So I have five a squared over one, or just five a squared. So ultimately, 1 plus 5a squared. Take a look at number 4. It's a bit more complicated, but it's the same idea. Take each term of the numerator and divide it by that denominator. So 21c squared f to the 13th divided by 3f to the 5th plus 17 c f to the 25th divided by 3 f to the 5th minus 12 c 
to the seventh, f to the eighth, divided by three, f to the fifth. Now we can divide each term using our laws of exponents. Starting with the numbers, three goes into itself once and into 21 seven times. I have no other C's, but I do have some F's, F to the 13th and F to the fifth. So with the bigger number on top, 13 minus five makes eight. And now let's write what we have. Seven in the numerator, C squared in the numerator, and F to the eighth in the numerator. I could write over one, or I could just leave it as C, seven C squared F to the eighth. That's the same. Plus, notice that three does not share any common factors with 17. So we will leave this as 17 over three. C is all I have in that one position. But then again, I have F to the 25th over F to the fifth. So 25 minus five makes 20. So F to the 20th minus three and 12 share a common factor. Three goes into itself once and into 12 four times. So we have four. There's no other C's, but there are other F's, F to the eighth and F to the fifth. Eight minus five makes three. So we have F cubed. Oops, let's not forget to write the C to the seventh. One is left in the denominator, but I don't have to write it. So. Let's write what we have simplified. 7c squared f to the eighth plus 17 thirds c f to the 20th minus 4c to the seventh f cubed. And there's our simplified answer. Take a couple minutes to think about what we just did and write a short summary. Explain how multiplying and dividing polynomials is similar and different. Thanks for watching. See you in class.